All right, guys, uh, in this platform, we are going to quickly rush through the questions that we are given. Uh, that is focusing with our DC machine, uh, working with a DC generator. We've got uh, questions that we are going to quickly uh, go through from our exam revisions. Uh, so this is April 2024 exam that we are going to consider on question. Number two, you are given 2.1 state where exactly interpose are located. Where exactly do we have the interpose? Okay, so we do understand that the interpose, they are located midway between the field poles so these are located in the midway okay you can just say uh in the midway between so this is going to be taken between uh the field poles so that is where we have our interpose all right then we are given 2.2 it's a simple question again draw fully labeled circuit diagram of a separate, take note, it's separate, separately excited DC generator. It's separately excited where we do understand that the field winding will be on its own and the amateur part will be on its own. So this is what we are going to have when it is a separately excited. We are going to have uh the field windings here uh which is we're gonna have the field on its own then we are going to have the armature on its own so this is what we are going to have as this armature uh since we're talking of a generator where we understand that a generator supplies the current so if it is supplying the current then we are going to have a load that can be connected uh, to the supply. So that is in this case here, we have got our load current. Remember as a general, it supplies the current. So it's gonna be supplied uh, to the load. Uh, then from here, we have got uh, the armature current going up from this armature. Uh, this is your armature circuit. So we are talking of the armature in this case, where we know that we're going to have the armature resistance and the EMF that is generated. And on this case, you have got uh, the field where you've got the field resistance and the current that is flowing into is the field current from the DC supply that you are given. So remember, you're supplying this. So the, um, we are referring to the field current into the field. So that's... For, for, for max guys, you can have everything. And remember also, on this other side of the armature, the current that is flowing in this circuit, since this is a series circuit, is the same. So this armature current is equal to the load current that we are having in this case. So uh, that is the presentation that we are given uh, that you're supposed to actually put into understanding. Then on 2.3, you were given calculation to make on a 400 shunt wound generator okay so this is it you are dealing with a shunt wound generator where we know that uh the field is going to be in parallel with the armature so we are going to have our armature circuit this side uh that is where we are having uh the armature this is a generator. So we're talking about uh, the input power, this side, and where we are having our load, this side, we're going to have output and the voltage that you're given, which is a 400 volt, a 400. So the voltage we are given are the terminals of the generator. Remember the generator, guys, as I said, it supplies the current from how much of the current is going to be supplied this side so there we have got the armature current which is supplying this at this point there's a current that is going to flow into the field which is the field current supplied to the other part we're going to supply to the uh where to go or to the voltage where we're going to have the power output where we have got the load current which is opposed with the motor the motor is drawing in the current well is the generator is supplying that current. So that is what we have. So let's, let us just put what uh, we are given into consideration. So it produces 
an armature current of so we have got uh this armature current which is uh, 20 amps the resistance is of the shunt field and armature so there are two things considered respectively so the first one the shunt field so this is the first one shunt field which is we are considering of the shunt field the one that is part of the field so that is you are given uh the shunt field resistance of 196 ohms and also the 0 comma 3 for the armature so on the armature remember you also have the resistance of the armature there that's 0 comma 3 ohms that's the only information that you're given and from this information 2.31 you're asked to calculate the magnitude of the generated emf all right so the question is if you do understand like the information the diagram is not even important like you understand your calculations guys remember that for any part that you're going to consider for the generated emf all right so let us put it here that's two 0.31 uh for the generated emf considering that we are working with a generator in this case so that will be v plus the armature current times the resistance that is affecting the armature circuit so in this case we just have this resistance in the armature it's not connected to anything in series like we can have those combinations where we can have also a resistance connected in series as you are going to consider in your N4 electrotechnics. But so if you do understand the formula, actually the diagram is not important, but having your diagram is important in the simplification, guys. All right. So this is E, which is equal to V. That is 400. We've got everything in this case. That is 400 plus the armature current, which is 20 times the armature resistance of 0, 0,3. So there. We can simplify this on our calculators. That is going to be 400 plus 6, which is 406. Okay, so that was going to be 406 volts, which is the generated EMF. On a motor, we are talking of what? The back EMF. On a generator, generated EMF. Then the electrical power output at the output. Here, remember, this is the input side, and that's your output in kilowatts so we need electrical output of the machine all right so how are you going to calculate the electrical output from the information that we have got here you can see that at the output terminal at, at, at the output side we have got a voltage this, this is a dc machine remember so voltage and current gives us what power so we can calculate this 2.32 the power output is going to be from the voltage times the load current where we do not have this we've got the voltage yes but we do not have the load current let's consider what was happening on our diagram remember from the armature current which is supplying from our kitchen of slot this is our armature current here which is supplying uh the field current uh, of the shunt and also the load current so there we can apply our kitchen of slots remember our kitchen of slots there uh can be applied to calculate these currents that is this armature current it is equal to the sum of these currents flowing away from the junction because the armature is going to the junction and these two are from the junction so it's the sum of the load current and this field current so you're going to take this to the other side because what we need is the load current so it's going to be armature current minus the field current giving us the load current so when we need the load current we are going to use the armature current minus the field current. Armature current minus the field current. Okay, this is what we are going to need to calculate the load current, which is this one. But as we can see on this formula, we have got the armature current, which is fine. We have got this. What about the field current? We check, we do not have the field current. But we can obtain this because the voltage that we are seeing is the same voltage that is across the field, across the field. That voltage of 400 is the same that is across that shunt field. So with that knowledge, we can calculate this uh, field current from the voltage and the shunt field resistance. So that means our field current is going to be the voltage over the shunt field resistance, meaning to say, that is the voltage 
at the terminal of 400. So we've got the voltage at the terminal, the resistance of the shunt, we have got this, which is 196. So that's it. So sometimes you have to formulate these equations, you know, to fill in the formula that you are given. To fill in that formula, there are other formulas behind also that you need to work with. So that was going to be uh, 2,041 amps as the field current. So with the field current, we can calculate the load current from this, which is the amateur current, that is the 20 amps, minus the field current that we calculated now, that's 2.041, giving us the load current, and that was going to be 17,959 amps. So that is our load current. Why calculating this? Remember, where we need to apply this is the calculation of the output power the output power that is voltage at the terminal 400 times that load current that we calculated all right so remember we calculated this 17.959 so that was going to give us the power uh, which in this case was going to be 7183.6 watts but they are saying this is supposed to be in kilowatts, kilowatts. So how do you convert to the kilowatts? Simply divide by 1,000. Answer will be in kilowatts, which is 7, comma. So it was supposed to be 7,1836, which is going to be 184 uh, kilowatts. All right. So you can also fix this on your calculators, guys. Remember uh, to fix your calculator to three decimal places given the instruction that you're working with under an exam so that was it on the output power you were supposed to work with the current but in calculation of these currents there are formulas in within that you're supposed to work with so understand um the characteristics that you consider uh from your diagram understand your diagram okay what is it that you consider a shunt this is a parallel connection so know your formulas from the formulas that you are given, you connect those formulas to answer a certain question. In most cases, that is how your questions are going to be given as. All right, so let's work uh, on more questions on our DC machines from the DC generator, DC motor from uh, to the efficient and so on. So that is it uh, from Amazon African Motives till we meet again.